All right, so this is going to be a bit of an interesting endeavor because from what I can see, there are only three emitters on this map. And they're supposedly super ultra mega powered emitters. And they're on three different tiers of uh, terrain height. And then there's solid digitalis connecting it over a space to my area. So while I do have a ludicrous amount of resources to start off with, this is going to be, I think, an incredibly hard fought battle to actually get this thing under control. So all of my command centers are automatically queued to fall on these and they're all on top of super powered emitters and reactors. So what I'm thinking is that I can go ahead and build siphons on literally all of this stuff. This is ore, ether, and energy on every single one of these, which is kind of ludicrous, I must admit, but there has to be a reason for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna connect I'm going to connect these to each other because it's very important to have everything linked. And then we're going to go up to the front edge with relays from each of these, like so. And then that is going to let us hook up across the way. So we'll have three points of access to the other side. Now, I do need to check on this. We've got... 200 creep on 0.03 interval. So this is basically spewing forth an infinite amount of creep. Uh, 200 times 0.03. So 0.03. I actually want to see how many this is. We're going to pull out the old handy dandy calculator. 200... Uh, no, that is not actually one divided by 0.03 times 200. That's 6,666 creeper per second, which seems nigh on unbeatable. But we do have the walls that are containing this entire conglomeration of nastiness for at least the first few minutes. So that's good. Uh, that, I have no idea what that is. We do have three spores launching from each of those, and then a spawn interval three seconds crawler. Wow. All right. This is going to be completely bonkers. That's all I can say. This is just, this is stupid. All right. Well, it is what it is. I have made this an endeavor of mine and we are going to do it. But this is going to involve the most stupid amount of prep work that I have put into a game in a very, very, very long time. Okay, so we're gonna get all those in. We're gonna get one more relay here to make the connection, which seems good. Then we're gonna do collectors across here. Collectors up to here. Okay, so all of those are connected. Then we can do collectors down this way. Do, 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 do. Then collectors over here. Get a little bit of that power in. And then this down on this side. Ooh, we might actually be able to. Hell yeah. Okay. We'll be able to get reactors and collectors and all kinds of nasty stuff in there. Okay, so last thing is to connect those. All right, we're going to unpause and see what happens. Whether I have estimated this correctly in the way that I am supposed to play it. So it is going to take a minute to actually get connected to everything because I did queue up too much stuff. But that's okay, now we have siphons and everything is hunky-dory. All right, we have basically a never ending supply of energy at this point for the next few minutes because siphons. So I want to get 
as many reactors built as possible in the next couple of minutes. And then we want to base our entire defensive structure on anti-creep. Because all of this stuff up here is going to give us a marvelous level of anti-creep production. So let's go ahead and grab sprayers. And I don't think we need to build that many exactly, but we are going to build one for every collector here. And I am not going to build... I'm not going to set these... You know what? I should set these to always on. I should actually set these to always on. And we should build... I should think about this strategically. We should build shields in the back that force all of this to the front in order to have this gigantic buffer zone established. Oh my goodness. We shall have a wall of creep. It will be the best wall. The biggest wall. The greatest wall that has ever been known. Uh, actually, that was the wrong button. I apologize for all of the prep work. But you know, when you're coming into these things, you can never be too prepared. Ah, welcome in, Victor. I mean, I just play maps that are rated 7 or higher, usually, is how I uh, go about picking what I'm going to play. Because I do not have the time to sift through a bunch of individual maps, so I kind of trust the community on what they're rating highly. So, congrats on having high-rated maps, man. Uh, other thing we need. We need snipers, because obviously there's going to be a lot of bugs. Now, this is probably way too overkill for the first little bit here, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, how much are in these siphons? 250? Oh, we are going to drain these things fast. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is going to be really, really quick. Siphon lover? <laughs> Well, this is definitely the map to get it on. Holy cow. All right. Burn through that siphon in no time flat. Where's the rest of our siphons? Oh! And now we're minus 46. Wow. That was a hell of a time. Okay. So once all these reactors finish, we actually should be in a fairly decent spot. Uh, or maybe not. We're minus 20 on everything still. And once all of these, let's see, let's select all. We're gonna stop resupply and disarm and deactivate. That'll take a lot of this load off and we don't necessarily need the shields right away. Oh, the spillover has begun. So it's gonna take a little while for the Digitalis to build its way up to us, but we do need to be aware that it has begun. All right, there's our reactors, there's our reactors. Fantastic. And we should now, yes, be getting all this good stuff. All right. Energy efficiency, fire range, fire rate. Just keep pouring it in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dear. This is like watching the apocalypse approaching. I may be totally underprepared for this. I might actually be totally unprepared for this. Uh, energy efficiency all the way to the maximum. Yes! Okay. So now we have anti-creep all over the place. Uh, let's select O. Arm, resupply, activate. And then we're going to take every single one of these guys. And as soon as the shielding comes online, we're going to activate always on. Come on, shielding, just finish your build cycle! can do this oh dear oh dear you might not be able to do this uh, okay come on come on enable always on okay now that we have 742 we need to upgrade our ore efficiency to the maximum because we need more ore because that is obviously not a good sign and while we're on the topic I need a vast quantity of mortars because these mortars are going to be the only thing that stands between us and doom come on come on we lost something over here i think it was a collector 
In fact, I'm pretty sure it was a collector. Pretty sure it was a collector. All right, finish that up. Come on, come on. Ugh, sprayers lost. I might have actually failed my first run at this. Oh dear, wow. Okay, it's just completely overpowering the front. This is more creeper than I have ever seen ever doing anything. Wow. All right, uh, we're gonna restart this knowing now what we know and we're going to have a much better crack at it because I think that we need a much more strategically constructed back end in order for this to work. So I was right to drop all the siphons, uh, but we're gonna do energy first. Should be able to do all of our energy without too much issue. So we're gonna do that. I think that will work out brilliantly. So then we need our relays in between. And these, one, two, three. These are gonna make our connections. Can I take a moment to say, I freaking love this map maker because he actually placed everything symmetrically so that you work out in even rows of everything when you're going back and forth. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Everyone should make maps this way. All right, so there's that and then that. Okay, so we're gonna go can't really go symmetrically there, so I'm just not going to go at all. Um, yeah, we'll wait on this. Okay. Come on in. Sit right down. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's all of that. Excellent. We're hooked up to the siphons. Now, we build our collector path which is going to score us a fair bit of energy. Go back across, go across here. <gasps> it is quite literally symmetrical because I can actually place across the front edge and it works out to an even number. Uh, except that the, that is not able to make the proper, ah, well, it's fine. Um, let's go across here. I'm gonna get, tons of reactors and that is going to deplete siphons like crazy but that's okay because the only goal here literally the only goal is to get such a tremendous power income that we can then build whatever the hell we want on the front line and it will not matter boom why are you building collectors in an area where you're already collecting uh, because even spacing on things, IDK. I didn't realize that there was a gigantic collector there, so yeah, that was kind of unwise. But I did end up gaining some, so I think it's probably fine. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold up. We got this. This was definitely way more than I thought it was. I think I have already screwed up, but we're going to try. That's minus eight, which is not so bad. That's going to take a massive chunk out. <sighs> See, that's what's annoying, is I can't effectively multi-select these types of buildings. Alright, arm, and we're good. Okay. So now, with that done, we are going to want to move across into this area as quickly as possible. So with Titans, I've got the Forge, which I'm gonna place over here. 
and then we're gonna want to push across this now if I get locked to this island it is not the end of the world because there isn't a digitalis spread to actually get to this edge so I'm safe on my little island over here until we get up to like a thousand creeper world love creeper level uh, Iridium never apparently is is the answer to that question um but I will need this for extra build space just to build what I need to build so uh, let's do let's go straight up here oh my that actually makes the connection in a very real way uh, let's go up here to that zone okay and then we can go up here like so all right so last time around we tried to do we tried to do um, a build with anti-creep and shielding and I think that it may have held slightly better had we had it started slightly earlier but I don't think that it would have held indefinitely so what I'm wanting to do now is to get a row of shields and then behind that we're going to do a row of mortars this is theoretical but um, I think it will work okay so we do a row of mortars and then behind, in front of that, we do a row of cannons. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this will actually work or not, but I am crossing my fingers so hard right now. You have no idea. All right, uh, so that little guy right there needs a connection. So we're gonna be doing, I think it's skip three. No, it's skip two skip two in place and we're good oh this is gonna hit me so hard for energy uh, I can already feel it I can already feel it uh. okay so all the reactors are coming online come on come on so we got 13 up on that we'll make our connection to the front line gives us 25 up but unfortunately we're not spending very well we'll be spending we'll be spending the crap out of it once we hit this front edge oh there it goes all right so we failed that was not fast enough and it was due to my abysmal stalling at the forward edge so I think that we need to reevaluate one more time so satisfying so satisfying ah! uh finster how exactly am i supposed to get an upgrade when i don't have a forge yet that is my question that is my question fire the singularity cannon to buy time how do i fire the singularity cannon when there's no forge you can't do any of this unless you have a forge so the forge has to come earlier Finster, magic does not work in Creeper. I promise. You're not going to get anything out of it. One more time. Gonna celebrate. Alright. So as the person so kindly mentioned before, I don't actually need to put anything down collectors wise because 90% of this is already collected. So we're just going to put down our relays. We're going to put down our energy siphons. And then we are going to go for a much more reasonable level of reactor building. In addition to going for the forge first and foremost. Because that forge is going to be our lifeline. With the upgrades that we're able to get. So we're going to put a forge in there. And then we're going to do, and I have to warn you, this is going to be abusing the pause button because I only have a very limited amount of time in which to do the things. So we're going to lay in reactors there. See which siphon is actually depleting first. Uh, let's see. You go here and then there. Okay, so we need to connect to that one. Uh, siphon is depleting not as rapidly as I would have thought. So we're going to go for the back line here 
Appreciate the sub. Sergeant. Oh, dear Lord. I never remember. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. The Dragon Ball Z character that I never get the name right on. Every damn time I try to pronounce that name, I get yelled at. Because I always choose to say it the wrong way. I can never remember if it's a soft G or a hard G. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. We'll get through it. Um, all right. Reactors. Let's go. I feel like we're starting to make the same error that we did before, but uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so we go for two. I think that we have enough to go for three. We have three siphons left, and we've depleted three, so that's gonna start eating through them very quickly. But we do have this, and we're finally set on that. Okay, so that means that we need siphons on all the rest of these guys. Because that is going to be how we make our lovely, lovely upgrade paths. Oh my goodness, they're all in range. Oh, that is so good! We're not... Oh, there it broke. Okay. Um, That siphon's down. Now this one is going. Vegeta. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get this done. Uh, energy efficiency through the roof, please. And thank you. Let's get this down. Which is still not consuming everything that we need. And that means that we need to start putting relays up to the front in advance this time. Uh, we'll go there and there. And... There and there. Okay. So that done we should be able to go collectors all the way across here which will give us the mounting points that we need for all of the turrets that we're about to build and then we need to get as a primary firing line we need to get approximately all of the cannons up but we're not going to go so hard that we completely stall out. We're just going to go most of the way to the stalling point. Is that going to spend us? Uh, it's close. It's close. Um, let's do build speed. Packet speed for what's left. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Energy efficiency once we get a little higher. Yes! Okay. So all of that is charging up. Phenomenal! Alright, so we've got all those in. Now we go mortars. And then we need to get attack ranges up very quickly. And this time, if we get beaten back to our own side, we will stage drops, I think. Because we should be able to re-overcome this entire thing. I can't believe that we're actually factually balanced on that um let's go sprayers 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 you know what screw it we don't need anything or anyone telling us that we're spending too much um i am going to turn every single one of these to always on and they are just going to do everything they can because we have a bunch of anti-creep that is in these siphons and i need to use it so fire range fire range fire range fire rate fire rate uh, let's wait on one more firing range because i think that 400 is worth it oh yes the slowdown is real okay so let's take all of these guys uh actually no let's do a row of cannons across here this is going to stall us so hard. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay. Wow. That buys us so much extra time. And now we need beamers. Okay. Beamer. 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 Excellent. Uh, once these siphons are gone, we're going to have a very hard time actually sustaining this 
So we need to start getting a little bit done as far as planting ore mines. Uh, that one's available, that one's available, that one's available. Not all of them are, but we'll get it done. Okay, so cannons are up. Now we need a full complement of mortars. Zoom! Energy stall again! Booyah! <laughs> There's no need for a singularity cannon here! We just build all the things. Okay, so we're starting to lose on our front line, which I feel like is a really bad sign. Uh, let's do ore efficiency up. And then I wish that there was a way. This is actually gonna suck. Um, I wish that there was a way to organize these things. Well, crap. By the formation. Is there a way to maintain formation? Does anyone have a, um, does anyone have a hotkey that can do this? If I select all? On my cannons at oh dear lord cancel that uh let's see select all of you m oh my goodness it actually does what okay why are you not okay it's a little sketchy it's not exactly what I want, but it is very close. Okay. So we're gonna put this over here. This is probably going to fail abysmally, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, all right, so we got all those in and now we do this. But you have to hold it, that's the problem. Okay, so now that's placed. Oh dear, this is gonna be an interesting, interesting thing. All right, we're gonna try to build the collectors that we can. Obviously some of this is gonna fall, but I gotta be able to fuel the line somehow. Whoo! This is gonna be interesting. And we're down. Hold up. Relays? Relays. Is this gonna do any good whatsoever? Uh doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna come all the way back down here. We're just gonna place that line just like it was. Oh my goodness! This is a whole new world of possibilities. Or I could just formation move across the entire thing. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Uh, we're going to build. We're going to build strafers. We're going to build an entire line of strafers here. I can already feel this game slowing to a crawl as far as sim speed goes. Because this is simply not going to be able to hold up to the stress. It just can't. It it simply cannot. Uh, we are holding though, so mortars combined with sprayers combined with everything else that's going on is actually working out quite well. All right, we're gonna select every single one of these and we are going to spread just like so. So that's going to cut the flow down in the back and allow us to move these guys up to the front edge. The line fight is freaking epic, yes. Uh, I don't need snipers quite yet because I gotta reestablish my front line up there. So let's do that again. We're gonna wait until the strafers go. And then as soon as the strafers finish, the game just hitches completely. We're going to set these guys directly in front of the collector line. We really need packet speed. 
because this is gonna get sketchy while we're up here. Oh dear lord. Well, strafers, you did your job. Let's hope that it was enough. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Can you? Can you? Nope. No, hold on. There's green bars. So that means that these guys are all about to die. And probably are not going to be able to dig themselves out. That was so close. It was so close. We almost got it. Okay. Uh, are you, are, are you, are you actually able to that gum it? All right. Well, I'm just going to let it die. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's get a line of cannons in across the back here to extend this reach up to the front. And then all of these are set to always on, so they will be extending that, um, that beautiful level of coverage to the front edge, no matter what. Oh boy. All right. So those are doing quite well. Nice, nice. Now we just need more energy upgrades. And possibly more energy, because more energy is always more better. Uh... <laughs> this is gonna put us in the mother of all power stalls, but that's fine. That is fine. Because we'll come out the other side better and stronger than ever. You need more reactors? Yes. Yes, we do. At the cost of a hundred. Although we're only using like double the amount of power that we actually have, so judging by how much power I'm usually stalling, it's not actually that much. So these guys right here. Oh. So you don't actually have any map restrictions on that. Oh, that's interesting. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we get those in. And then we want to get mortars across the entire back edge right here. Which is hopefully going to do something useful. Oh boy. Ah, uh, we need ammo. We need ammo. We need ammo in a big way. So the problem here is that we do not actually have a reliable way of eliminating creep before it gets onto the front edge of this because when it's in the digitalis it is incredibly deep but it kind of spreads out of the digitalis in a controlled manner so you end up with this really weird situation where does it go perfect line or no it goes in the previous formation so if it's built in a line, then it works in a line. But if it's built outside of an actual line formation, then you might as well just individually place everyone. But still, formation movement in Creeper World. Who the hell would have thought that this was actually a thing and that I would be using it one day? All right, so that's everyone connected. Now we need a whole bunch of mortars to make up the difference. And we'll have our actual factual front fighting line. Woo! Yes. Okay. So we're off space slightly, but I think that's fine. Um, you, my friend, are not able to actually make a connection, which is unfortunate, but not unforeseeable. We shall do this across the front for even more collector power. Okay. So we got those in. We've got our strafers in. I think we're actually ready to move our strafers up north, honestly. Uh, but first, we are going to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I just realized something. This is terrain height 10. We gotta turp it. We actually have to turp it. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
we shall do everything grandly as one does when one is grand. Okay, uh, power? Power, power. Or, 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 or. So, once I get my anti-creep mined, like I need to, then we can actually start using some of the anti-creep to hit the other side with, which will be fabuloso. Um, get you up there, get you up there. Gotta get some sprayers up. Um, we're always on on all of our sprayers, which means we are collecting a lot of anti-creep on this side, but that isn't actually that big of a deal because all I gotta do is turn some on to scoop up the stuff in the back and then it just amplifies. It's like my entire territory is storage for what I'm gonna be doing next, which is uh, if the game engine can actually keep up with what I'm doing here. Terraforming all of this to level 10. Hell yeah! All right, so we're going to select all, terraform nearest first, which is going to take literally all of my cannons offline, I just realized. But I think that my strafers are holding out well enough that this will be fine-ish. As long as I can get a three high set here, we'll be okay. All right, uh, fire rate we're gonna tick up, and then we're gonna leave that alone. Oh, that is a lot of turpages. That is a lot of turpages. So if we go for the one on the right first, that's the highest terrain, and then we can cascade downwards from there which I think is going to be by far the most efficient way to do this. Once we get the first couple of rows here, we can start doing this. Uh-oh. How did I? Okay then. I see how it is. I see how it is. That's fine. That's fine, no worries. We'll get it done. This one cannon, once you get upgraded enough, single cannons are utterly devastating and it is a beautiful thing. Can I just like place this here? Thank you. Um, that looks like it can go forward. That looks like it can go forward. That looks like it not go forward. We actually have a tiny, tiny, tiny little piece right here. Uh, you come here. That's preventing us from hitting that. Can you, uh, can you shoot that, please? Yes! Thank you! Now we can get that out of the way, and it will let us put one up on the wall. Awesome! The key to this map is line building? I, apparently. That would seem to be what it is, yes. Okay, so we've got that up there. Let's do collectors. A couple of these areas that got shut down. My goodness, these planes are busy. Holy cow. All right, so we can move up with quite a few of these. Maybe all of them? Maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them. Constant hissing of turps is unreal. Oh, that formation move. You can actually do it interspaced with other turrets as well. Dude, that is awesome. I lost my mouse. There he is. <laughs> There's so many particles flying around on the screen, I don't even know what to do with it. <sighs> okay, so we got all those in. Now we need to get interspaced snipers and sprayers on the front line. 
So we're gonna do uh, sprayer, 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 sprayer. Um, then on the other side, th this is just to kind of beat down the creep in general, I think. We're gonna select all, then deselect you at the front. And we're gonna change them to dispatch excess and enable collection field. So from now on, the anti-creep should be shot across the plateau here and then nothing else is going to touch it. So let's go for our last range upgrade and let's get some anti-creep storage and energy storage so that we have a much bigger flux bucket. Can I use that word? I'm gonna start calling storage flux bucket from now on. We'll have a much bigger flux bucket in which to store our um, our excess items. Okay, so we do that, and then we need some snipers. All right. So the PD creep days are almost at an end. I think that what we need now is we need is we need to form a staging area. And part of that is going to involve turning these guys back around and hitting the top edge. Woohoo! Yes. Had low res on the thumbnail and I was like, "Wait, this is Creeper World 2?" Oh. Nope, sorry. Creeper World 3. I've never actually played Creeper World 2. Um, I played Creeper World 1 and I played Creeper World 3. From my understanding, Creeper World 2 is like a totally different concept of a game. Like, I don't even know what it's about, honestly. So, I just never really picked it up. Alright, we're gonna set this thing right down here. Do -do -do. Do -do. That is, uh, that is some persistent stuff over on that edge. My goodness. I'm going to put a cannon right here. Just because reasons and stuff and things. And, of course, it's going to die. All right. Go up here. Rainbow Noms. Appreciate the bits, dude. Sword up there to number one. 300 bits. Alright, so the question is, where do we move from here? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to go across the corner. One way or the other. So one thing that I could do is I could select all of these turrets that are doing nothing in the back. And we can just airdrop them and see what happens. Might work. The other thing that I was thinking about is setting our ships to only target this one area. And then... Or efficiency, come at me. Um, and then getting anti-creep bombers online. So that we can, like, pound a hole through one area. And then also... Um, and then also dump anti-creep in that area so that we have a safe staging area for our landing party. But I think that we have just absolutely failed at this entire concept and now we're going to see what happens. Visibility, show, there we go. So the creeper is not shown quite so well now. And we can see what the terrain is underneath. Very, very important. All right, so of course all of our cannons are dead. The creeper is still deeper, but I think overall that turned out relatively well. So now what I need to do is I need Strategic to start detected. doing <laughs> Kit Fox. Thank you for the bits. And yes, that is exactly what I was just thinking was that it's time for the big Berthas. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna destroy all of these we're going to destroy. 
because I need a bit more, a bit more build space in which to build all of these big old clunky things. So we're gonna do that. And then on the front of that, all of these are connected. On the front of that, we are going to do a double row of strafers, just like this on this side. Um, only I'm thinking we might need to reposition these two guys. Let's see, destroy those. Structure, relay, there and there. We do have a couple that are supplied only by that relay, so we gotta leave that alone. All right, so we'll get our strafers back. All of that will be good to go. And we'll also just have an absolute metric butt ton of Berthas that erases everything on the map all at once. We're gonna have to auto-target these one at a time progressively in order to not um, completely screw ourselves over. Also, I no longer have enough power to run this which means that it's time to build power on the front lines. <laughs> this never goes badly, right? Never ever shall it ever. Oh, the frames. Oh, give me some frames, please. I'm dying over here. All right, we're gonna go dump a bunch of mortars up here just to kind of alleviate the stress and also to give us some more build space. Um, I'm just going to throw some of these up here because I feel like I am just too close to love you. I feel like we're in a position to probably not have quite as many of those around slash get them. No. There's still three spore sections. All right, so we should probably build a couple more of these. Bye, mortars. It's been nice knowing you. You'll be fine one of these days. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, uh, so with that out of the way, we just need to get these out of the back. It's fine, it's fine. Just go perish in the creep, it's totally okay. And we now no longer have any uh, anti-creep on the back edge. So I can drop all of these on the other side as well. This is just consolidating all of our stuff. <laughs> so apparently Twitch chat is broken again? Okay, ah, it's fine. We'll get, we'll get things done, it'll be okay. All right, so auto target. And then we're gonna set this one to auto target, and then this one to auto target, and then this one to auto target. The reason I'm doing this in a row is so that they don't all fire at the same thing. It's gonna take me a minute. But this way we have continual birth of chain fire. Instead of all of them launching at once on the same target and overkilling it to hell. Although at the rate things are going now, honestly, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. Because the creep is spreading so quickly on those upper areas that it just, it's instant. You like actually tick the box, thank you. All right, so now we have continual birth of fire that is doing, oh dear lord, lovely things. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted. So it is staggered shells instead of all in the same spot. And that is just going to do horrible things to that. Okay, so select all of you. This is where our frame rates really start tanking. 
So we're just going to place a single move order here so that they circle in an interlocking pattern and just clear everything out of the way right there. And then on the top side, we are going to do bombers because bombers are they. So there's our row. We're gonna do another row right there. And while Anti-Creep is doing an exceptionally good job of keeping this entire shore free, oh dearie, dearie me, look at that. We have actually got an opportunity to move across. Is this relay connected to anything? Um, okay, so connect there, and then connect there, which connects it to the relay chain. All right, that's the big thing, is I gotta get it connected to the relay chain. We may not even need bombers. Good gravy. Okay. Uh, cannons? Cannons. We need cannons. What happened to all my cannons? I thought that I had a bunch of them. And you would think that I would not lose track of such things. But there's just no more cannons. We probably also need shields. Because there is no way in hell that I'm going to get up close to that without a substantial amount of shielding and mortars. So let's do that. Yes, I'm being sarcastic, guys. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna build a row of shields right here. I think four ought to be enough. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, I built them in the wrong place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we're set to do stuffs and things. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this entire block. We're gonna bring them up here, just like so. Now, obviously, obviously, these are not going to win the day overnight, but they are going to make our, a gargantuan dent in what is going on, and that is what I care about. So, let's let these things set down. And we're gonna place another relay there, and another relay there hopefully keep these things fueled up and then that is going to do a fantastic job so we're gonna select all of you and place it right there get it a little bit more concentrated and out of the way and that is that okay mr. forge cannon you are at 1600 I'm going to fire you right here and then we are going to build a relay here Oh, that's a lot of totems. Okay. Weapon system, nullifier. Every freaking one at the same time. Is our build speed maximized? Pack of transfer speed. Good. Okay. We're loading. And we're good. We are absolutely good. And that is going to give us a staging area for three mortars to attack the next spot with. Woo, beautiful. All right, select all, target the next one. <laughs> oh, that is good. Look at this, the mortars reach every freaking thing. Okay, so connect in there, relay down, relay to the front. And then we get ready to take this entire group of unused cannons and drop them right in on the front line. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be a gorgeous thing. So once we get up into the top zone, it's just a matter of cascading it downwards. There is not a dang thing in the world that they can do to stop this. Okay, so with that set, we're also going to pull all of these sprayers over to the front edge here, which I think is going to do quite nicely indeed. Okay, so we get a relay up there, then we do more of you fine fellows right here. And I'm not sure whether or not I can keep this away. over, move over, move over, move over, there we go, nullifier, 
I think that will get all three. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that it is in range. If not, it is within range of two out of the three. So I think that that is good enough to call it. Uh, as soon as this explodes, we'll move the other section. But first, we're going to catch all of these guys. We're going to move them right up here. And that is going to lead to another hop, skip, and jump across with a relay. Just like so. Move you. And just like so. Woo! Yes! Okay. We also need a few of these. Because there is no way in hell we're getting anything done without our loyal sprayers. Alright, so that's good. We got our relay set. Move these back. Got everybody moving in. And that, my friends, is that, I think. Oh, this is so good. This is so very, very good. We'll move all these over to attack that from every possible which way. And then with the anti-creep in to suppress everything, all we gotta do is slam down one of these nullifiers and a relay to connect it. And that, my friends, is that. Don't even have to use the forge cannon. Though we can't, just for funsies. Oink. <laughs> we'll suck it all, all the way over that way. And it will be mutual annihilation with all the anti-creep that's on the map right now. Look at the concentrated mortar fire from this. Wow. Okay, what am I missing? Hold up. Is this... What do I gotta do? Open nullifier. Ah, that also had to be nullified. I see. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's not a problem. We just gotta wait for it to load up. Dang. If I would've placed that just a little bit farther north, we would've been fine. Angry Man Xander, thank you for the host, dude. 80 second forge cannon? Dude, that is nothing. We've had some massive numbers on that forge cannon of late. All right, we're gonna claim that victory. 24 minutes. I'm gonna submit the score and that slots us into 17th place out of 53. Easily up there in the top half. That was actually a really fun map. Very, very brutal. Rainbow, appreciate the bits again, dude. Um, I Maps that start off that quickly are very interesting to me. Not in the frustrating way that Quantum Gateway maps are, because with Quantum Gateway maps, like there's only one way to start. And if you don't start that exact way, then you're completely screwed and you might as well not even play the map and you just restart it five, six, seven times. But when you have a very intense opening that you have to have a build for but you can choose your unit composition that is a really cool approach to a map so well done on this one that is gonna wrap everything up for this video guys if you enjoyed it feel free to drop a like and share it with someone if you want to support the channel catch the streams or join the discord check out the links in the description thank you all for being at least partially insane and i will see you in the next one.